Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve the X cross or how to perform an X cross. So an X cross is basically a faster way of solving the cross and the first F2L pair. So first, let me scramble this cube up. As you can see, after um, we solve the cross, there might be in some cases like the like um, this. So this is an example of a great X cross case. What you want to do here, since this piece isn't aligned correctly, is that you could move this piece into somewhere else. For example, here, the piece isn't solved here, which means that you could just insert the piece in here. And then when you move it back, you have this block here, which means that you basically solve the cross and the um, first F2L pair at the same time. So for example, if I just scramble the cube up again, Um, as you can see here, wait, where is the other piece? Okay. Okay, so basically, as you can see right here, um, I can just move that over and then we could do that. So therefore we have another X cross. This, um, I recommend not just doing this intentionally. I'm just show, uh, doing this intentionally to show you what an X cross case looks like. So for example, after you've done the cross, you see something like this. So you can um, move this into a unsolved piece. You can move the piece in. And then you can move it back and you will have a block. All right, let's do one last case here. So imagine that uh, this is solved like that. And I will show you a, a triple X cross or a double one, maybe a triple X cross. Okay, so this is a triple X cross. Basically you have this line, all of these are solved except just this pair. So you can use this pair to do something very cool. So for example, I can do that and then move that piece in. And then I can do that and then move that piece in. And then I can do that and move that piece in. And then I, at last, I could just finish this F2L like that. So I recommend not doing the X crosses um, intentionally, just that if they appear, it's a great way of um, speeding up your solve. Wait, I think I did the wrong algorithm there. Anyways, for the X cross, let's just do some more demonstration solves. Basically, what are the signs that you can, you have an X cross? First, and the most obvious one is that you have something like this. So if you have something like this, you could um, basically insert the piece that goes here, which is over here, to that spot, and then you can bring it over. That is the first case of the X cross. And then for the second case, for an X cross, um, basically, when you're solving the cross, um, you could run into a situation where, um, let's see if I can make this, uh... okay, so for example, when you're solving the cross, you see an F2L pair like this. I will also have a video, um, on how to, like, sort of keep F2L pairs during cross, but this is also a very good sign of having an X cross. So basically, when you're solving the cross, you see something like this. So you, uh, what I recommend is putting that piece in first and then solve the rest. 
resto the um, coordinates. And then, for example, we can just do the regular um, FTL again. And then there is a very fast FTL. Okay, one last case is, let's see. That looks good. So no X cross pieces here, but something to note is that I could do like that and then do that. Okay, now we basically have this pair paired up. <laughs> I'm sort of getting off track on like solving the F2L, but this video is mainly on the X cross. All right, maybe we could get lucky this time and actually have an X cross case. All right, so there we go. We actually got an X cross case. So basically, as you can see here, this is a chain. And what I want to do is basically solve these two pieces first, like that. And then we keep in mind, do not do that. And then I solve these two, and then I want to keep this piece too. So basically, I want uh, the wait the this piece to go in there. So like that, and then I can since I'm saving this piece, I can move that in as an X cross, like that. And then I can just move that in, and move that in, and then that is a very, very lucky F2L guy. Okay, so yeah, that's that basically concludes this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!